busy every day. Uh, sitting out here, finished up some projects yesterday. I'm sitting around looking at what else I can take care of. Trying to do little odds and ends now that I've finished my my big uh, <clears throat> top secret build to find out about soon. And um, back when I've got the adjustable suspension set up here on the number three with the servos, I realized I'm not going to be able to really use the interior because there's just going to be a mess of electronics and wires and stuff everywhere. So uh, I've had a custom dash I made a long time ago for it. I probably still will install that. It was just a sheet metal with a clock face, a watch face, and a little strip of leather. Um, but I decided I needed a roof. And uh, <clears throat> most of Model A's, Model T's, they had a canvas type skin over the top. Um, it was a wooden frame. Um, I thought about trying to make that. I've got a few little pieces of craft wood, but getting the, the curve right is going to be next to impossible. So uh, this body came from Nightcrawler's 3D. It was one of his first prints of this body. <clears throat> and the roof had a really bad grain to it because of the curve of it. It's got a nice bow in it, but I saved it. And um, I think I'm just going to wrap it in some fabric and make up some type of hinge and latch so we can just open it put the battery in, close it, and go. Um, I looked around. I don't have any really good fabric. The only thing I have is this old shirt, t-shirt I've used for other things. I used it for the uh, cushions on the Awesome Design seats. And it's kind of a, a weathered black, so I think that'll work. Um, it's not a whole lot left of it that doesn't have a print, though. So I may have to use the inside, just kind of a plain black. So I think I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to glue this to the roof piece first. Just to glue it in. Uh, the way I've got the body mounts on this, it comes on and off super easy. So I'm just going to do it like that. I think it looks a lot better. It kind of fills it in. I did the windows, did the roof. Um, still got to work on the drivetrain on this. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I want to use yet. I really don't want to spend 80 bucks for another R4 transmission. Um, that would be cool, but like I said, with all the wiring for the servos and stuff, for the, the uh, adjustable suspension, there's really not going to be much interior, so that may not, it really is not necessary, I, I think, on this one. But, uh, yeah, that's where we'll wrap this one up. Just a little quick video, just doing some little odds and ends here, getting back in the groove of things in the workshop. So be sure to follow along on Instagram and Facebook, it's RC Every Day. And like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you all in the next video. Keep it scale.